The focus of this video is the principle of emphasis. Watch all the videos in this series about the principles of design. Find related printable sketchbook pages on my website. Links are provided in the description below. Start by watching an overview of the elements and principles of design. In summary, Elements of design are the basic building blocks for artwork. Principles of design are methods that can be applied to each of the elements. Opinions will differ about which items should be included as elements and principles of design. You will find varying lists. It is more important to understand and focus on how they are defined and used. Let's take a look at how Pablo Picasso used elements and principles of design in his self-portrait. He used a variety of colors in the skin tones and the background. He used harmonious lines. The rough black lines differ from each other, but they are still similar. He also used harmonious textures. Similarly, the rough brush strokes differ from each other, but they are all still similar. Let's take a look at how Georges Seurat used elements and principles of design. He created a feeling of depth by reducing shapes proportionally as they recede in space. He created interest by using a variety of shapes for the people in his painting. Georges Seurat is well known for his tiny brush strokes called pointillism. This texture is used consistently throughout his painting. Therefore, Seurat used the principle of unity. Let's take a closer look at the principle of emphasis. Emphasis is achieved when special attention or importance is given to one part of a work of art. We can have emphasized shapes, emphasized forms, emphasized colors, emphasized lines, emphasized textures, and emphasized spaces. Artists will often use more than one principle of design in one work of art. They can work together to be very effective. Kandinsky used shapes to create emphasis. Our attention is drawn to the upper left corner of his painting. The artist created a large dark shape that contrasts with the other elements in his painting. Klimt used forms to create emphasis. He used shading to create the illusion of volume and forms only in the area of the woman's face and hands. The rest of his painting is treated very differently with flat shapes and patterning. Robert Harris used colors to create emphasis. The viewer's attention is directed to the woman's profile. The artist created high contrast of light and dark colors in this area. Lauren Harris used lines to create emphasis. Repeating lines or edges point upward to the summit. John Singer Sargent used textures to create emphasis. The artist directs our attention to the faces in his artwork by making the texture smoother and more detailed. The texture around the faces is rough. Whistler used space to create emphasis. The artist directs attention to the specific areas in his painting, such as the woman's profile and the framed picture, by placing uncluttered space around these items. Let's try it. Print the sketchbook activity page provided. A summary of the principle of emphasis is given. Print the two worksheets. Emphasize or minimize the stars in each cell with the corresponding elements of design. 
Share your ideas with your friends. How many different ideas can you find? Note that artists can use the principle of emphasis to direct the viewer's attention and convey a message about what is important and what is not. Add these pages to your sketchbook. Reflect on how you might use the principle of emphasis in your own artwork.